In today's video, we're going to be discussing FOB destination and recording the freight costs incurred by the seller in both the perpetual and periodic inventory methods of accounting. But first, I want to say that I believe something great is going to happen for you today. And now, back to the video. If you're someone who is not quite sure what FOB shipping point or destination means, hit the like button on this video and that way I'll know that you could use some more videos clarifying it for you. Thank you. I've been doing a series of videos on comparing and contrasting perpetual versus periodic inventory methods. And if you've missed that series, the first video in it is up here. You may want to check that one out after this video is over. In this video, we're going to talk about a company that offers the following terms for the sale of goods to its customer, FOB destination. What that means is free on board with the destination, whichever you would list what it is, the destination is the buyer's location. Free on board tells us where the ownership and responsibility transfers. So if you've got free on board destination, FOB destination, that means the seller pays shipping costs. So the seller pays all the shipping costs if it's FOB destination. Oftentimes they may increase the price of the item to cover for that. In this example, the freight costs are $75 and they are paid in cash. Let's see how that is treated in the perpetual inventory method. In that method, there's going to be a debit for freight out, or might sometimes be called delivery expense, because it is being treated as an operating expense to the seller. So we're going to have that expense here, and we're going to debit the $75 and we're going to credit cash for that amount when it is paid by the seller. So you have now properly accounted for the freight out delivery expenses in the perpetual inventory method. Now let's look at how to treat the FOB destination in the periodic inventory method. You'll be happy to know that it is treated exactly the same way. So we're going to debit the freight out, or could be delivery expense, depending on what that company has set up as the name of the account. And they're going to debit that $75 and they're crediting the cash because the cash is going down by that amount. You have now properly accounted for FOB destination delivery charges in the periodic inventory method. If you find this type of material helpful and you would like to get more of it, please go to my website, askprofessorcapco.com and sign up for the free newsletter. And also, since you now know more about the perpetual versus periodic inventory system, but you need to know more, please subscribe to my channel and click on that notification bell so you'll never miss another video. Thank you.